Hey guys, it's your local staff member John here, and we're back here for another tutorial on how to verify our newly developed, very easy to use website. Don't worry guys, it's not that hard to use, I'll be sure to take you every step of the way from here. So let's link it up. Yeah, yeah, time to link it up. Here is where it's going down. Connect your Discord to your Roblox account to my server owners. Alright, so let's jump right into it starting with how exactly do we verify so as you guys can see here i've created a brand new account so i have a fresh new setup i'm verifying as if i've never verified with blocks before so first things first join a server could be your own server or the hq doesn't matter find the right channel and once you're in it you're going to type verify and you're going to be given the prompt to click on the link to our new website just click and you'll be taken to your server list I'm only in two servers, but you're most likely going to be in multiple. But if you aren't already redirected to this page, if you get sent to the main website, just click on your profile to the top right, click verification, and you'll be sent to the same page anyways. So once that is done, and once you're on here, you're ready to verify. So first steps first, select any server. It doesn't matter which one, just select the server. And once you are redirected to this page, you are given link a new account to this server. That's the verify page. So once you're here, the second step is to add your Roblox username exactly as it's shown on Roblox. And once you have that down, you have the option to check if your account is primary. So basically it means if you want this specific account to be verified for every single server you join, you'll check the box. Next, you're going to choose how you want to verify this account. I'm going to cover both, but for now, we're going to start with code. So first, once you get your code, you're going to highlight and copy. I recommend you copy this and not write it yourself as most of the time you will make an error if you try to write it yourself. So once you copy it, head to your Roblox profile, open your status, and you're just going to paste it in and click save. Once it's once you see that it's on your profile, you're going to head to back to blocks link and you're going to click next. And you'll see your message verification success. And that means your account is officially linked with blocks link so you can head back to your Roblox profile change your status to whatever you're officially linked and you'll be redirected to this page now let's cover the next method and we're back here i fully reset my account this is a fresh new start same process as before let's start with putting in our roblox username this is my main account so i will check the box and this time we're going to choose game verification Next, and now we see the blue verification game button, which links us to the game website. So you're going to click the blue verification button and you're going to be moved to the game page. Before you click play, make sure you're logged into the right account. And once you are, click play. And once you launch the game, you'll be given the setup prompt. First thing to do is make sure that Discord listed right there, it is your Discord account. And once you verify that it's yours, click yes, that's me. You'll be given the all done thumbs up, click thank you, you'll be kicked from the game, and now you can head back to your browser. Wow, that was pretty quick. We're almost done, just one last step. You're going to head back to the page and click the green check button. Don't forget to click the button. And once you do, you're given the success message. You're officially linked with your new Blockslink account. You'll be taken back to the home page, and you can see your new Roblox account that is linked. And after you finish setting up your account, you can simply head back to the Discord and you're going to run the verify command to get all your roles. However, if you didn't get your roles after verifying the server, then just run the at blocks and get role command and blocks will give you all the roles you need. So whether you chose the game or code option, don't worry guys, very fast, very easy, you'll get the hang of it. The rest of this is extra. If you're done verifying, you can just leave the video. Thanks. And now we're going to go over some quick frequently asked questions we get here at Blockslink about the verification process and the website. Let's start with how to switch accounts on the website if you want to verify with a different Discord account. It's very easy. You're going to start with clicking your username at the top right of the website and you're going to click log out. Once you're fully logged out, you're going to Google Discord and it's the first link you see. It's discord.com. And you're going to click the open Discord button. And once you do, you'll be redirected to your Discord account that you are currently logged into. Next, click the user settings at the bottom and you're going to click log out. And once you log out, you're going to put in the email and password of the Discord account you want on the BlockSync website. And once you're logged in with your brand new account, you're going to head back to the BlockSync website, 
click sign in with Discord, you should see your new account that you logged in with. You're going to click authorize. And once you're back on the website, you should see you're logged in with your new Discord account. Next, we're going to cover the most common error we get here at Blockslink. You were kicked from your server for not being linked to Blockslink error message. This has a very easy fix. So if for a fact you do know you are linked to the right account you made sure, then your first step is to head to the Blockslink website, blocks.link, and you're going to click your profile at the top right. Next, click my account. The first thing you should see is your account primary account is set to none. That is a huge red flag. In order for a server to know who you are, you need a primary account set. So first, you're going to click the drop down menu and you should see a list of all your accounts or your only account. You're going to select that and your current primary account will be updated to whatever account you selected. And once you've done that, congrats, you fixed the error. Try to rejoin that same server. You should be allowed to join in now and freely to talk. Our next error is there was a problem connecting to our API. Try again later. You might get this error when trying to use our website. Don't worry, it has a very easy fix. If you do get stuck on this website, you're just going to click your profile at the top right and you're going to click log out. And once you've been fully logged out, going to click sign in with Discord, authorize your account, just log back in and go back to your profile, go back to whatever page you had the error in and you should be able to enter it just fine. No API problem, everything works fine. That was a pretty easy fix. Let's move on. And lastly, one of the easiest things to do since our new website launch is adding a new account to Blockslink. First, you're just going to click your profile and you're going to click verification, which will take you to your server list. Now, you can click any server. Trust me, if you're trying to set a primary account, it won't matter what server you pick. Just select the server. I'm going to scroll down to link a new account to the server. This should look familiar as this is how it looked when you first added your account if you used the website. Next, you are given the option to set your account as primary. This basically means that Blockslink will choose this account to verify in any server you join from now on. If you do not check this, you will only link this account to the specific server you chose. And once you've decided that, you can just either choose code verification or game verification. And if you need help with that, just look at the beginning of the video when we explained how to verify both ways. Now, instead of adding an account, what if you just want to remove an account? Well, that's just as easy. First, if you want to unlink an account, you're just going to click your profile at the top right of the website and you're going to click my account. Now, before we move on, I do have to talk about something very important. Down here, you see delete my data. We have to talk about this. I have to emphasize, this is not how you unlink an account. This is a whole different thing. This is how you delete all your data off Blockslink. And if you delete your data, it does come with consequences. If you choose this option, you will not be able to use Blockslink for up to 10 days at all. And if you try to come to our Discord server and say it was an accident, we cannot help you. That is out of our hands. So please do not delete your data. If you think you want to click this button, come to the support server and ask a helper first and we will explain to you what it does and if you should do it or not. Just do not click it. There's a whole nother way to unlink an account. This is not the way. All right, let's move back on. Now the actual way to verify is up here where it says unlink an account. Remember, you need to add your new account before unlinking your account so Bloxing knows which account to switch to. So add an account first, then unlink your old account after. Now, if you only have one account on Blockslink and it's your primary, that's a whole different story. Blockslink will not allow you to unlink that because it needs an account in order to join a linked server. So that should be the only reason why you'd want to delete your data. But do remember, if you want no accounts at all and you delete your data, you will not be able to add an account for 10 days. Remember that consequence. And that's the end of our tutorial. Make sure to like the video and if you subscribe if you haven't. We will be posting more videos in the future. And if you still need support, click more on the website, head to the help center, and you will be redirected to our support server, which our helpers and mods will gladly help you through your problems. And if you haven't already, follow our Twitch and Twitter. I will be streaming soon and engaging with you guys. And that's it. Stay safe, guys.